Why would you sell a business that is making a lot of money for you? Three words, entrepreneur's tax relief. So for any of you who own a business or are doing pretty well in business, you'll notice that taxes are pretty high once you start earning over 60,000 a year for most countries. Once you start earning over 60,000 a year, the taxes start creeping into the 30, 40, 50% bracket. So why would you sell a business? Most businesses, ones without intellectual property, will go between three to five times earnings. So however much you make in a year, three to five times that. Some of them do it by monthly. Most e-com stores are done monthly based on monthly profits, but most traditional businesses are done by yearly uh, EBITDA basically. So why would you sell it? If you can get three to four times earned, let's say you're making 30 grand a month, that's 360,000 a year. Times that by three, that's near enough a million and change. So therefore, you can walk away with a million. Now, if you were to take that 360,000, you'd be paying the tax on that 360,000. So you'd be looking at, let's say two, 230, let's say, just for argument's sake, let's get, say you get a great accountant and you get 230 out of it. That's 130,000 you've lost out of that one year. For entrepreneurs tax relief, it's around 10%. In my country, it's 10%. So therefore, if you sell that business for a million and change, you'll get 900,000 and the rest, which is gonna be at least, let's say 230,000 times how many you need to get to 900. It's gonna be roughly four and a half years, something like that, to get that same money back. So therefore, you can sell your business for 900,000 or a million and get 900,000, and then you've got four years in advance on that company so therefore, what a lot of entrepreneurs will do is they'll start another business or they'll have a better idea in mind and they'll pursue that kind of business. So this is why I always advocate for an exit strategy. The, the money's made on the sale. It's the same with property. The money, the value of the property is in the capital, the value of the property itself. If you try, if you try and rent a house out, you get the cash from that house over and over, great. But it's not as much as the value of the house itself. The appreciation of that business will be much more than the actual cash flow if you do things right basically so you sell the business for that price then that's all yours gone exit strategy done and then you can look into further businesses also you are selling a business that you are working in so how many people now let's say you have a job right now would you sell your job for money you probably would wouldn't you and think i'll just get another job this is how entrepreneurs think i can sell my business get a fat load of cash Money makes money if you're smart, especially a person who's got a business worth a million, probably does know how to flip it. They'll have a million now and they can use that, put that cash to work or fund it for another business. So basically you're selling a job that you don't want. Do you know what I mean? Somebody else will want it because they see that as an asset that can produce a lot of cash. You see it as a job that's producing money, fair enough, but I can get a whole load of cash and that makes it nice and easy. Wondering, this is why I'd advocate you sell the business. You can get your exit, take the cash and then go. Many business owners don't, they'll hold it to the grave and then give it down to their sons or daughters or whichever. But most of you, I'd advocate you try and sell the business and then move on.